Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updated videos. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Query Solution. So to continue our discussion on the blood group questions, uh, we are taking another example today. There is already a video which is uploaded on my channel where we have seen the example where father belongs to blood group A, mother belongs to blood group B and what are the possibilities in the case of children. So many of you people are liking that video and thank you so much for that. So today we are going to see another example where father belongs to blood group A and mother belongs to blood group AB. In such a condition, what are the possibilities of blood group that we can see in the case of children? So even if you want to know all this into detail, do watch my video completely. And for now, let us start up with a video. So to continue our discussion now, as we have already seen, what is the condition given to us that father belongs to blood group A and mother belongs to blood group AB. So first of all, as of now, I think there is again, I am saying you, there is a video uploaded on my channel where we talk about that if somebody belongs to blood group A or AB, then what are the allelic or the genetic condition a person can have? So you definitely need to have an idea on that. If you are clear that what will be the genetic condition of a person, it will be very easy for you to solve such questions. And let me tell you, this is a very, very important question with respect to your board exam and also with respect to objectives. So, so you have to be clear with respect to that concept. So as we know now that we have to first of all figure out the genetic condition of a person. So we know that if a person has a blood group A, there are two types of allelic condition a person can have. The first allelic condition the person can have is this. And what we say this condition as, so we say this condition as the homozygous condition, homozygous dominating condition, right? And is there another possibility a person with blood group A can have? So yes, it can have another possibility of condition too, where the person can have a heterozygous condition, which is a combination of IA and small i. What about a person who belongs to blood group AB? What are the allelic or genetic condition a person can have in this condition? So definitely we know there is only one possibility in such a case, which is only IA and IB where we have already seen the concept of co-dominance that both the alleles dominate each other and as a result we see the concept of co-dominance coming into picture. So this is what is the genetic condition and this is what I am talking about that if you are clear with whatever blood group a person can have, how many genetic conditions or possibility a person can have, you will be very easily able to solve the questions further. Now. To continue our discussion further, we have to see that what can be the possible, the possible conditions of blood group in the case of children. So again, as you have already seen a video or in case if you have an example, we have to study or solve such cases or such problems on the basis of cases that how many cases are available. So let us take the first case where the father belongs to a homozygous condition. And definitely with mother, which is having a AB blood group, we have just a fun condition. So let us see what possibilities are we going to see in the case of children if we take this condition. So let me write father has blood group A, mother has blood group AB. What is the genetic condition of father we are taking? So we are taking the homozygous condition, which is IA, IA. And what is the condition of mother? It is definitely going to be IB and IA and IB. So let us see now if we take this condition or this possibility, what are the possible conditions in the case of children that we are going to get. So we all know that one of the allele of father is going to fuse with one of the allele of the mother. And if this allele fuse with this one, what is the combination we are getting? IA and IA. So what is the going, what is going to be the blood group of such a child in case if this allele get expressed in the case of child? the blood group is definitely going to be A blood group only. What about case 2? So if this LL get fused with this one, what is the condition we are getting? We are getting a condition IA and IB. And what is this going to express? What blood group is this going to express? So this is going to express a blood group which is AB. The same is what we have seen here. If IA and IB come into picture, the blood group becomes AB, right? But if this allele of the father fuses with this allele of the mother, the condition is again going to be IA, IA. 
and again we know the condition is going to be blood group A in this case and lastly if this allele gets fused with this one the condition we are going to get is again IA and IB and what is the blood group we are going to get in this condition so the blood group is going to be AB. So what is your inference when you have solved case 1? The inference says that if a father has blood group A and of course mother has blood group AB and if in case the children are having blood group A and B in the ratio of 50-50 percentage, what indication does that give you? That gives us a clear indication that the father is belonging to a homozygous condition, right? So this was our case 1 where we have seen this homozygous condition fusing with this one. Now let us see a heterozygous condition where IAI get fused with IBI. Alright, so let me draw this cross over here. I'll just draw a line. So let us solve our case 2 now where of course father is belonging to blood group A, mother is belonging to blood group AB. But now what are the genetic conditions here we are talking about? So father is having the condition which is IA and I that is the heterozygous condition and mother is definitely going to be a condition of dominating which is IA and IB. So let us see what are the possibilities we are going to see here. So again if this allele of the father fuses with this allele of the mother what is the combination of allele we are going to get? So it will be IA and IA. And again we know if it is IA and IA, what is the blood group that is going to express? So the blood group is going to be blood group A. Let us see possibility 2. So if this allele of father fuses with this of the mother, what is the combination? Sorry, the combination that we are going to get here is it will be IA and IB. What is the blood group it is going to express again in this case? So the blood group is going to be AB. What is the third case then? So in the third case, if this allele fuses with this of the mother, the combination, what is the combination? Combination will be IA and a small i. And what is this going to express you again? So this is going to again express the blood group which is A. Because here, Allele A is going to be the dominating allele. And in the last combination, if this allele fuses with this of the mother, what is the combination we are going to get? So it will be IB and I. And what is this going to express? So this is going to express the blood group which is B. So what is your inference children in this case now that you can see that if a father has blood group A, marries a woman which is having blood group AB and if you see children coming up in the condition of blood group A along with AB also with a blood group B then what indication does this gives us? This gives us a clear idea that the father is going to be the uh, in the heterozygous condition. So as I have said in my previous video also this is a very important concept and if you get an objective question like this that tell us the possibilities in children if father belongs to blood group A and mother belongs to blood group AB how many possibilities of children we can have. So what you can see here here we got just two possibilities A and AB we did not got the possibility of B. But when we have solved the heterozygous condition of the father or if there would have been a possibility of heterozygous here we do, don't have it. But if we have a heterozygous condition always cross the crosses where there is a heterozygous condition only. Why? Because this is going to give you the maximum outputs. We got A along with that we got AB also and we got a possibility of B also. So this is another example we have taken where we have seen a father having blood group A, mother having blood group AB. What are the possibilities we can have in the case of children? In the next example, we are going to see a cross where we see father belongs to blood group B and AB. So what possibilities are we going to see in such a case? So stay tuned and if you are liking my video, do like it, share, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video.